How to draw stairs and furniture in perspective. Now that we know how to draw a room, we can put some furniture in it. We will begin by making a bookcase on the right hand wall. The first step is to make a vertical line. Now we have the side of the bookcase. It is facing us the same way as the back wall. And it is at right angles to the side wall. Now I line up the top and bottom of it to the vanishing point. Now I've drawn the front of the bookcase. If I draw furniture that has shelves or drawers, I have to make sure that each shelf or drawer is lined up to the vanishing point. Now I will draw a round top table. Things that are round become oval when they're in perspective. Now I will draw a refrigerator against the back wall. It doesn't have to go to the vanishing point because, like the back wall, it's facing me. But I do have to make the bottom of it lower than the bottom edge of the back wall to make it look like it's coming towards me. Now we'll draw a chair on the left hand wall. I begin by making the side of the chair. Like the side of the bookcase, the side of the chair is at right angles to the wall. And all the horizontal lines are parallel to the horizon line. To draw the front of the chair, I line up each part with the vanishing point. Now we can draw a coffee table in front of the chair. I begin by making a horizontal line. This line is parallel to the horizon line. Now I line up each end of that line to the vanishing point. And that enables me to draw the top of the table. The two legs that are closest to me are the same length. figure out how long the leg on the other side of the table should be, I line up one of the front legs with the vanishing point. To draw a picture hanging on the wall, I begin by making a vertical line. Then I line that up with the vanishing point to figure out the rest of the picture. Because both the top and the bottom of that picture are above the horizon line, both diagonal lines are going to slant down to the vanishing point. Now we will draw some stairs. The first step is make an opening in the side wall. Then I line my triangle up with the vanishing point to figure out the first step. Then I make a short line at the end of that step parallel to the horizon line. From the end of that short line I line it up to the vanishing point. Each step in the stairway is made of two parts, the tread and the riser. To make the next step, I start where the first step left off.
Again, I line it up with the vanishing point. And I repeat the process for each step. Once the stairs are higher than the horizon line, I can no longer see the treads because now they're above my eye level. On the opposite wall, we'll make stairs coming out into the room. Remember to use your triangle to make sure your vertical lines are nice and straight. Now I draw the side of that stairway just like I drew the side of the chair. To do the front of the steps, I line up each one of them with the vanishing point. Once again, when the stairs are higher than the horizon line, I can no longer see the treads. Now we will make an opening in the floor with a flight of stairs going down. We begin by making a horizontal line that is parallel to the horizon line. We line up each end of it with the vanishing point. To make the flight of stairs going down, I begin by making a short vertical line in the corner. And I just keep repeating that over and over to make all the stairs. I finish my drawing by showing the thickness of the floor. And now I have stairs in my room.